Hey, what is up my YouTube friends? Another day at the creek with We All Juggle Knives. Today I have a knife review for you, right? Off-Grid Knives Cayman XXL. This brand is quickly becoming a go-to brand for me. I am really happy with all the knives that I've uh, used by this brand so far. I did buy all these myself. They were not sent to me. Uh, they tend to give you overbuilt knives that have extra wide blades. It's not meant to like fit in at the office, okay? Uh, those folders are meant so that you can easily uh, use them even with gloves on, right? So they're thinking of people uh, perhaps in the military. This knife features full tank construction, G10 handle scales. You got a lanyard hole there, integrated guard, sharpening choil, jimping on a thumb rest there. All right, and this thing, look at that. This thing is just a beast. The blade length is seven inches. It is extra wide like a meat cleaver. It also flares out and is extremely pointed, right? So piercing ability, chopping ability, slicing ability like a freaking scimitar. Right, oh, if you hear some honking, it's, it's those guys. They're attacking. <laughs> oh, there they go. All right, glory of nature. There's some ducks over there as well. I don't know if you can see them. See those ducks? Yeah, a lot of delicious animals frequent the uh, creek. Seatbelt type strap. Bike tire tubing. The weight on this was listed as 15.5 ounces. So if you needed to chop a notch into a branch, you could chop a notch. Or if you had to, you could go all the way through. There you go. So because of the weight of this knife, you can actually do a little chopping with it, right? A big knife is never going to hit as hard as a hatchet, right? But if for some reason you did not have a hatchet, you can do some chopping with this knife and it will go through branches like that. I'm going to baton and carve a square notch into this branch right here, like so. Okay, so we have two grooves. Now we just have to connect them. Oh, that was easy. Okay. And we clean that up a little bit. All right, that's the beauty of a squared off notch. Okay, so you see what we did there, right? We baton a groove there, baton a groove there, and connect those. We got the squared off notch. This is actually hardened to 61 HRC, which is pretty hard for D2, but they say that's going to be okay because they swear by their cryo treatment. Well, before purchasing this, I actually watched a lot of reviews of their fixed blades, and so far there's been no problem with the D2. There you go! All right, so I still wouldn't recommend this for splitting unless you had to. But if you had to, uh, you know, it definitely could. 
just uh, you know be careful of that tip Yeah, I want to split this down further because we don't have all day to do the carving. All right, so you see that if you had to, if you had to, it could do some splitting. All right, let's hear it for the, the caveman baton of coolness that I carved with a hatchet. All right, I'm going to draw it down this piece of uh, kiln dried firewood. All right, because you can do some carving. You could do some carving with this. All right, now, oh, did I hit the camera? Sorry about that. Now this is kiln dried firewood. It's a lot, right, it's a lot harder than your typical branch you would find out here. All right, but this knife is doing well. Yeah, we'll have a spike. We'll have a spike in no time. It's a little bit of finer work. Oh yeah, I mean this thing is still super sharp. No problem. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to carve with this, you need to thin something out. You need to make a spike or part of a trap, part of a shelter, that type, type of thing. You got this spike. I carry sandpaper with me to actually finish off my spike super nice. It's a little tip, but even just with a knife. Oh, did you hear that wildlife there? Yep. Honk. <laughs> Man, what's the ruckus over there? Six of them just flew by. I don't know if I don't know if you can see that. Six of them just flew by. All right, spike. All right, YouTube, if you have a problem with vampires, this knife will be awesome because I've carved not one, not two, but three spikes while I was out here. We're having a problem with the sun coming in and out of the clouds, so I just wasn't sure which of the carving scenes I was actually uh, getting without shadows. So, yeah, I just, car I just uh, filmed it several times. So here are the results. Here is a look at the sheath. As you can see, it has eyelets all around. It has a belt loop, which is quick, easy on, easy off. Right, it has a button closure and Velcro. All right, button closure and Velcro there. It is a Kydex sheath. It is molded. It does, it does hold it in very securely. Has a part to push off with. Right, you can push off with that part to free the blade. So that is the, uh, the sheath. It's pretty good quality. And here is that sheath on the belt. Now I am left-handed, but let's just pretend I'm right-handed. So that is the sheath, right? With my off hand. Uh, yeah, it's easy to deploy. It is heavy and it is wide like a meat cleaver. Now I don't have any, uh, any ribs or any other meat out here, but you could use this as a meat cleaver, right? So basically for butchering. It is extra wide, so you could actually hammer with it and dig with it. Now, I don't prefer to do those things with my knives usually, but if you were in some sort of extreme survival situation and you, you had to dig with this, you actually could dig with this fairly well. All right, YouTube, very serious topic right now. One thing I personally have learned from the Joe X situation, you need to support your favorite video makers before something happens, okay? Don't wait till something happens. Don't wait until YouTube starts to try to persecute me. Don't wait till I get in a car accident or I get cancer. 
uh, don't wait until, you know, the government, they actually went after Joe. Don't wait till the government comes after American video makers. Support us now so that we can be strong and economically viable. There are many ways to support someone. You can do super thanks. You can use affiliate links. You can like, comment, share, and add their videos to playlists. All of those actions put them up in the algorithm, right? So there are many ways to support. The price on this knife was $87. They are available on Amazon. I'll include a link below if you just want, if you want to pick one up or you just want to read all the stats on the knife. But do I think $87 was a reasonable price? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, this is, yeah, this is a lot of knife for that price. Okay, YouTube, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this where I, I test out gear, have some good scenery, and I just tell you my honest opinions on uh, knives, hatchets, all types of gear, feel free to subscribe.